What's up guys, it's Eric Shady here, and we are back with episode 3, or part 3, of how to code a Minecraft client for 1.8. So, like I said in my last video, I was going to make a brightness hack, and I was also going to make a fast place hack, and to add a little bonus for not being able to upload on Friday like I said I was, I will also be showing you how to do a basic sneak hack that will be upgraded in the future. So, let's get into this, and let's uh, start with the brightness hack. So, like always, you're going to want to create a new class on your modules. I'm going to call this one brightness. You can call it full bright or whatever you want, but this one's going to be called brightness for me. So, once you create the class, like every other hack, you're going to want to extend the module class. And then, we're going to create the constructor. I'm going to call this one brightness. And I'm, I want to bind this to key B. You know, B for brightness, but you can bind it to whatever key you want. Import that. And then this is going to be category world. Um, yeah, I'm having issues with spelling. Category dot world. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do public void on update. And then from here, we're going to put if this dot gets date. That's not how you spell state. Wrapper uh, dot mc dot the player. No, it's not dot the player. It's dot game settings. Dot gamma setting is equal to 10f. Else, wrapper dot mc dot game settings dot gamma setting is equal to 1f. We're going to import the wrapper, and we're going to import ours. And that should be the module. So we're going to test it out by adding it to our module manager. I want to put it there. there we go. We're going to call this one brightness. Obviously, we name every class. So we're going to start up the client now, and we're going to see what happens, if it works or not. If it doesn't work, we will obviously go back and try to fix the code. So about not being able to upload on Friday, I wasn't able to upload because stuff happened in real life and I had to leave town. And I just got back last night. So yeah, that's why I'm uploading today Sunday. There will most likely be a video tomorrow, Monday, or on Tuesday. So expect that. Probably moving on to X-Ray. So yeah, let's just let her... Client startup. Uh, if you guys, like I said, have any feature requests, leave them in the comments below. I may do a event manager client soon, but that will be in a different series because I'm also redoing the whole client with events and stuff. Dash and dot commands. I'll cover those eventually. I'm still trying to figure out how to get the response from the client to be client side only, but I have managed to get them working. It's just that when for example, if I type in .help, the messages uh, come out as the players. So I need to work on how to fix that. It shouldn't be that hard. I just have to kind of mess around with the code. So let's go into our world. And let it do its thing. Okay, so. We walk down here, and the cave is extremely dark. But we turn on brightness, and it goes all bright. So it works. So that works. So we can now go ahead and we can go and work on the next hack, which will be a fast place. So let's create a new class inside the modules package and let's call this one fast place. Extends module. Also, I'll try to upload this video in 720p. Let's see if my internet even likes that. So if it's on 720p, that means my internet liked it. And if it's not, then I will wait until I have better internet. Because I know some of you can't really see what's going on. And I'm really, really sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to buy this to period. We can put it to whatever key you want. Category dot player. I'm assuming this is a player hack since it is... Oh, you get the point. So for this, it's going to be a public void on update. 
I mean, this is going to be if this dog gets date. I mean, um, my bad. We just need to do MC dot right. Click delay timer equals to zero. Man. Well, wrapper dot MC. And then we need to create the. Yeah, this is what we need to do. Now we need to go to this. We're going to set the visibility to public. That's what I was doing wrong. And that should do it. Now, should fix that. Yes, it does. So now, we go to our public void on this table. MC dot right. Click. Well, we need the wrapper. We do need the wrapper. But MC dot right. Click delay timer is equal to 6. That should do it. So now when we go to the module manager, I just put this right here. It's called fast place. So now we're gonna run the client again. So yeah, I'm gonna be editing out the parts where I just don't goofed because I don't think you guys want to see that. I don't want you guys deleting stuff that I haven't typed in. I mean, I don't want you guys deleting stuff that I messed up on like that. So I'm going to cut out that and just skip straight to the part. So, yeah, just get off that topic. Okay, so we're going to test out the flight hack. Not flight hack, what am I thinking? Fast place. So we're going to turn it on. Okay. That was pretty fast. And then it works. I'm satisfied. Now I can spam stone. Let's yeah, that works. And then that yeah, works. So yeah, that's how to make a fast place module. So let me just break this. And you know what? I don't want to have to punch this out all the time. So I'm also going to create a what's it called? What's it called? A auto mine. There we go. We're gonna make one of those instead. So the next thing you're going to want to do is create a new class, and we're going to call this one auto mine. Right, and give me one second. Someone's at the door. All right, I'm back. Just to extend the module class. I'm going to create the super or the constructor. Auto mine, and then super auto mine keyboard dot key. And um, let's use semicolon for this. And category dot player so this is public void on update this is if this dot gets the wrapper dot mc dot game settings dot key find attack dot press is equal to true I believe that's what it is uh, press. I believe we have to make that public. We do. So that's gonna stay public. I should fix that, and then that should. Then we're going to do public void on disable. This is going to be wrapper dot mc dot game settings dot key bind attack dot pressed equals false. Save that. We're gonna add that to our module manager by putting it under there, and we're going to call this one Auto Mine. So we're gonna start with the client, and we're gonna test our Auto Mine hack, and we're gonna hope it works. So of course we're gonna get past the splash messages. We're gonna open up the MCP world. Let that do its thing. So let's let's fast place a bunch of stone down. So that's alright, so now auto mine, it works. I just press it, I'm not even clicking anything. So hey, now you guys have an auto mine hack. So that's how you make these three hacks, and the next video I will be covering X-ray and 
I will figure out what other module I will do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one.